Well, it's certainly a time for the companies to reassess, and that's what they say they're doing right now. We have Rio Tinto and Cape Lambert that are the two mining companies making these operational changes and deciding to scale back their plans here in Australia. Rio Tinto's management says it needs to assess how that tax, that 40% tax on super profits, will be impacting the bottom line. So that is according to the Australian newspaper this morning. So Rio says its iron ore expansion plans in the Pilbara region of Western Australia are now on hold for now. Those were expansion plans that were in place for the next five years. Rio stock declined on Monday, also Tuesday, immediately after the Australian government announced these new taxes on the mining companies. Now, much of Australia's iron ore production happens in that Pilbara region of Western Australia, and Cape Lambert Resources has also said the chairman saying that while there's uncertainty, maybe for a year or so, we'll be reallocating those resources. Now, at the very same time, while we're watching these two Australian mining companies shifting their business plans, analysts say the management behind another potential deal likely won't be daunted by the proposed tax. Analysts are saying that the bid between, by Royal Dutch Shell and Petro China to acquire Aero Energy, that would be for $3.2 billion U.S. dollars, is likely still on the table. The two bidders actually agreed back in March to acquire the company, which is based in Brisbane, and it makes coal seam gas. Susan?